Zero Arena in Clayton was packed again last night with people looking to make their voices heard as Customs and Border Protection eyes two sites on the St. Lawrence River for a new facility. 7 News reporter Gage Kilborn hears from people in the crowd. More than 300 people attended the second day of Customs and Border Protection's open house on a new facility it plans to build. Many people have spoken out against building it on Blind Bay or at an alternate location near Clayton. Some attendees were looking to hear both sides of the debate. What both sides of the story have to say in reference to the impact and location of the proposed border, border patrol facility. One Clayton Town Council member says it's important to have these conversations with border patrol. We'd like to sit down and discuss this as community leadership and, and municipal leaders to to find a solution. While some residents believe the best way is to have an open sit down conversation with the CBP, Others are trying new ways to show why they believe the CBP will destroy the environment. Some people came with homemade signs, others came with t-shirts, and a 79-year-old man brought a stuffed muscalunch fish caught from the river to display. One of the species people are concerned will be harmed if Blind Bay is selected. The area is an important breeding ground for the fish. I think if any one of those Customs and Border Patrol people came out and witnessed the river firsthand, they would feel differently when they saw that fish. Similarly, the residents have one goal. Work with us, not against us. CBP currently has a facility on Wellesley Island, which officials say is far too small for its needs. Both nights were recorded and Border Patrol officials say they'll consider what was said before making a decision. Gage Kilborn, 7 News. Health